The city of Kent is among the latest cities to talk about it. Discussion at a city council committee meeting tonight is giving us a better idea of how Kent will approach a camping ban. King Fire's Christine Pay was there. She joins us now to break it down for us. Christine. City officials say they are getting more complaints about unlawful camping more than ever, and they are also noticing the environmental impacts. Tonight, they are promising any changes to its camping ban will be a compassionate process. Compassion, that is how the city of Kent says it wants to approach unlawful camping on public property. We're not cracking down. Um, we are establishing another tool that our staff can use so that we can utilize spaces for their intended purpose. Kent's existing ordinance has been in place since 2000. So why make changes now and what's different? Kent's chief administrative officer says complaints on encampments have gone up in recent months, further worsened by an opioid epidemic. Case law is also forcing the city to revise its current ban on camping to ensure people who aren't allowed to camp on certain public areas have a place to go. We've lost sight of the fact it's not compassionate to let somebody live in the mud, in the woods, without any sort of services or sanitation. It's not an okay thing. It shouldn't be to anybody. The proposed revisions will ensure people forced to leave their camps will be given shelter. The ban would also apply to specific locations such as designated public parks and trails, city owned places where staff go to work and environmentally sensitive areas. Kent Human Services will also monitor shelter availability and law enforcement will provide treatment options. Filing any charges for unlawful camping will be a last resort. If somebody is ultimately arrested to connect them with the services they need to get help to get them out of the cycle of this situation. It's not that they want to be out on the streets. We just don't have nowhere for them to go. Some spoke about the need for adequate shelter options. As far as with our residents and our faith base and our nonprofits, we can't do anything if you guys are not helping us. So nothing is decided yet. There will be further discussion on this measure at the Kent City Council meeting on October 18th, where there will be public comment. Live in Kent, I'm Christine Pei, King 5 News.